Yes, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal hey, fealty! Your no Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment! It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold or rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy knife, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Are you the one then? Is it you? No? Mm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for does... Ah, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha, I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. <laughs> <laughs>